What up, y'all? Welcome back to Comic Book Circumstances. I'm hitting you with my pre-order from Things From Another World. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos because I switched to every month rather than every two weeks. So those things are taking a lot longer time to get to me. I'm switching largely away from Things From Another World as I buy more and more books from my local shops. But I still use Things From Another World to lock in books that I'm worried about my local shops jacking up the price on. So if I'm worried about that, I'll pre-order it from them to lock in that pre-order discount price to make sure I'm not getting screwed over on New Comic Book Day when I'm trying to grab a particular book. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. I really love the Things From Another World website, the ability to browse it and not have to talk to anybody to lock in the things that you want. It's very, very useful in that way, but the processing times for your orders is killer. You're going to be waiting a while. My, this order started processing on July 15th, and it didn't actually mail until July 27th, so 12 days for them to process it, almost two weeks while I was waiting for them to actually ship that. It, uh, it's not fun if you're trying to get that instant gratification that we love to get these days with one day shipping from Amazon Prime. So trying to give my money to local shops, but again, I still have some use for things from another world, gonna continue using them. All right, with that said, let's get into opening this bad boy up. Always great packaging. Unless you only get a few books, and I guess it might be some terrible packaging. I've always gotten quite a few books. All right, now that we got that bad boy open, let's get rid of the box. Again, here is my month worth of pre-orders from things from another world. So let's get right through them. Top of the stack, we have got Stray Dogs, number five, that B cover, Friday the 13th, homage variant. I already had this one for my local shop, but you know, everybody's wanting multiple copies of these things, myself included. And I wanted to make sure that I got this, so I locked it in at Things From Another World uh, before it uh, came up on New Comic Book Day. Next up, we've got Stray Dogs, number four, another homage. I'll have to put up on the screen for you what that's an homage to. I don't actually know off top, but Again, Stray Dogs, all the rage. It's crazy how, you know, we were following Stray Dogs and there was quite a few of us buzzing about it, um, but things were just humming along and then five came out and things just exploded. All of a sudden, my number one is worth $100. It was, it was crazy to see that thing explode like it did. Still with Stray Dogs, got through getting more reprints. This is a reprint of number three. I know this one's Midsummer Night's Dream or something like that. Uh, but another homage, loving them, can't get enough. Glad that I got this one locked in because I didn't actually see this one in my local shop. And another Stray Dogs homage. This one, a reprint of Stray Dogs number two. And I, I don't know off top what this is an homage to, but I'll throw it up on the screen. But again, loving Stray Dogs, all the rage. Next up, Todd McFarlane's. Spawn's Universe. I think this was the C or D cover, uh, but I wanted to make sure I got all the covers. It wasn't an, it wasn't a necessary concern because I was able to get everything I wanted from my local shops, no problem. But I was concerned, so I went ahead and ordered it from Things from Another World. So still with Spawn's Universe, we got medi the Medieval Spawn cover, the Gunslinger Spawn cover. Gunslinger Spawn's pretty cool looking. And then Spawn 319, the Francesco Matina. This was my cover of the week that week and another one, I just wanted to make sure I got it. Usually you don't have a problem getting Spawn covers, there's usually plenty, but I didn't want to take any chances because I really liked this cover, so I locked it in at Things From Another World. Next up, Something Is Killing the Children, the B cover to 17, I believe, not 16, yeah, 17. Uh, great series, my favorite series. I actually gave a copy of this to my sister-in-law, so this will serve as my replacement. Uh, so I still have two of them, so I'm glad to have that. But love this series, can't get enough, can't buy enough of it either. Next up, one of the main reasons I use things from another world, they are my bad idea 
dealer. So happy to add sleigh bills. I've heard good things about this one. Excited to get to read it finally. All right, here's where we get into what I knew was in the box. My Nottingham reprints. I don't know what number reprints they are. I'll put it up on the screen in the editing. Uh, but this one's number four, a reprint of number four. Great series. I can't rave enough about Nottingham. It was a really fun series. Think V for Vendetta uh, with a Robin Hood uh, twist. Uh, really nice, really fun to read. I hope they do more. I hope they give us more. Still with Nottingham, pretty sure this is a first print, but I had been tr getting, I had trouble getting Nottingham from my local shop, so I was locking it in with Things From Another World to make sure I could get it. Uh, so I got three number fours here. I think this, this one was plentiful, um, so uh, it wasn't necessary at all for me to lock it in. Uh, but glad to have it anyway. All right, we got number three, Nottingham, another reprint. I'm just, I'm specking hard on Nottingham as well. I think that uh, it might have some legs to it. We'll see though, you know, I could be wrong on that one. All right, and another reprint of number three. I grabbed three of those. I was grabbing three of them because I was gonna have three sets. I wanted to have the ability to give someone an entire set two times. So that's why you'll see three of them. But love the series. Still with Nottingham, we've got a reprint of number two. I actually have the first print of number two. It was the first one I was able to grab. I was looking for it since number one, uh, but I couldn't find number one. Uh, but I was able to find number two and then I couldn't find number three. It was sporadic. That's why I started locking these in and things from another world to make sure. And this is a reprint of number two. Another reprint. Most of the, all of these are reprint except for number four. Still with Nottingham, reprint of number two. Got two of those. Loving these though, obviously. And then we got a reprint of number one. Another reprint of number one. I like this guy. He's a great character. He's not like, he's a, it, it, he's a great story in that like you can identify and relate to and understand this guy and maybe even choose this guy's side. Uh, it's a great story, I love this one. Another reprint of number one. All right, that's the end of the Nottingham run. We are into the nice house on the lake run. That is a reprint of number one, signified by the aged look of the paper. And then this is number two, A and B. I was able to get this one from my local shop, but I just wanted to make sure I got this one. I'm loving this series, didn't want to take any chances, so lock this one in. Plus I don't mind having multiple copies of that series. I think that that series has some real legs. I mean, we'll see if he's able to deliver in the end and it's gonna be difficult, but the setup, man, is so good. I can't wait to see where it's going. Another bad idea book, The Lot, number one. Again, the closest shop I have is Topeka Gatekeepers uh, in Topeka. They are a bad idea dealer, but Topeka's an hour away. I ain't trying to drive that far, so just order it online. Next up, this is the one in 25 or one in 10. I'll put up which one it is. It's one in 25 actually, of good luck number one. I like those virgin covers. All right, next up we've got Geiger. Me locking in, making sure I'm able to get some covers of Geiger. So these are both number four. Love and Geiger. That's another one that I'm specking on, I think. I think it might have some legs. Bad idea again. ENIAC number four, I think this one is. I'm not actually sure. Doesn't say on the front. But I only, I don't have number one, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to get a not first print somehow without paying too much for it. So I haven't actually read this one. I don't have number one, but I do want it. I like Matt Kent, I'm enjoying it. And I believe the hype, a lot of people talking about how good it is. And I like the synopsis of it. So excited to read this one someday, hopefully. 
Next up, Kanto City of Giants number three. This one came out a long time ago. I actually forgot to grab this one at my LCS, and so rather than going back or worrying about forgetting it, I just put it on my pre-order list to make sure. All right, next up, Berserker number one. I think this is the, what, fifth reprinting? So I went ahead and grabbed that one, locked it in. And then last, the Peach Momoko Avengers 46 cover. I don't remember adding this one at all, but there you go. All right, so there you have it. There's my monthly pre-order from Things From Another World. I've been hearing a lot about Midtown Comics and using them online. So I've been thinking about jumping over and taking a look and see if they're any better than what Things From Another World is. I do think that the Things From Another World website is a little bit better than the Midtown Comics, um, but other than that, I don't have any opinions, so I'll definitely check it out. If you have opinions, if you've used both, and you've got pros and cons to using both of them, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm looking for uh, that kind of information on where should I be locking in these books that I wanna make sure I get that, you know, my local shop might be low on, they might not have, or they might decide this book is not cover price, it's 25, 50 bucks. So let me know if you got a good experience from, from any of these shops online. I'm, I'm definitely thinking about jumping ship. If you're on Instagram, definitely hit me up, follow me. I will follow back if you are clearly a comic book Instagram because I love looking at everything all day, liking stuff all day. So definitely hit me up, follow me there. I'll follow you back. Message me anytime on there. Uh, I'm always down to talk about comic books because I don't have a lot of people in my circle that are interested in it. Um, I bought my ticket to Comic-Con for Friday, August 20th, Planet Comic-Con in Kansas City. Um, I got a one day ticket. I took my day off from work, but I'm going by my damn self because I got nobody to go with, but I don't give a damn. I want to go see it. I want to go people watch and I want to go maybe, you know, pull some, some cool books and uh, maybe get something signed. I know Scott A. Young will be there. Colin Bunn will be there. Those are the two big comic book guys that I'm looking forward to. Uh, but there's more than that, so excited to see it. I love watching people, the cosplay people are gonna be interesting, so can't wait to check that out solo. I do plan to take some video and share that with you when that comes, uh, not next month, this month. It's already August, wow, so I definitely hope to share that with you, but that's all I got for you. If you made it this far, definitely hit me with that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps my, my small channel out. I recently hit 100 subscribers really excited about that i am thinking up a giveaway for 200 subscribers um, i might make it 250 i felt like 100 was too small uh, but 200 250 i might do a, a giveaway for that we'll see what i got in my short boxes that people might get hype about uh, but I didn't want to build this channel with giveaways as much as I wanted to build it with interesting content, which I'm trying and to improve upon every single day, man. So if you have criticisms, uh, always let me know. I do appreciate it, actually, because those criticisms are going to make me a better um, editor. So thank you for everybody who watches and likes and subscribes. Peace, comic book fam.